Hello everyone, back again in another video. This time answering some of your questions. So, we've got Magician Khan, who's a friend of mine from Instagram too. On YouTube, he asked me, please make a video on what do you do when kids chase you every table and they follow you when you do walk around. And they keep saying what you going to do next because they've seen it before. Perfect. Now, this is a question that I think every magician would love a good answer to, but I think really it depends on your character. So yes, everybody does have this issue, problem, maybe it depends on how they deal with it. This is the situation, you're at a wedding. Uh, it happens to me, happens to everyone. I'm pretty sure as a magician, you're watching this going, yeah, it happened to me. There's always a few kids or one kid at an event comes up to you and says, hey, I like magic, that sort of thing. And you're like, yeah, you show them some magic. And now they love what you do, but not only that is they don't realize how irritating it is. Sometimes they'll follow you on every table and they'll blow it down. Look, he's gonna have two balls in his hand or he's gonna make that pen disappear or he's gonna change those papers into money and he's blurting it out before everyone sees it. So what do you do in these situations? I think there's a number of things that I personally do. Again, what I'm saying is just my experience and what I do, it doesn't, it's not necessarily the right thing. Again, think about your character. If you're this kind of guy who's very serious, you just look at someone and go, I don't like that. Maybe that will scare them. It's not me, it's not something that I do. I personally tell the kid, hey, how about I teach you something? And I would teach them something where they would code an in information. So I would code to them an item that the pe person on the table is thinking about. And I'll make them the star of the thing. So I'll use them in that effect on the table. Hello, this is my friend Jack or whatever. He would come and show you something and you know, think of any item here. Jack turned around, all right, are they thinking of that? Are they thinking of that? And then he would May oh yes, they think of that. And now he's gonna feel special. So yes, there's a good chance of him following you around more, but at least now he's in the spotlight. And he's the one doing the trick. But if you don't wanna do that, you can always tell them nicely. So, you know, explain to them nicely, but hard to explain to kids because they're not gonna pay attention to what you're gonna say. You could say something like, hey, I'm gonna to come to your table later and I'll show you something very special. But let these people enjoy themselves right now. Don't come down and spoil everything for them. Just let them do their thing. I'll, I promise you, I'll come to your table, not only teach you something, but also perform for you and your friends something really cool. You could do that. I've even had kids that are coming up to me, sticking their hands into my pockets. I'm sure some of you have probably got worse than me and saying, oh, look at this, here's a silk, here's some, and it can be really irritating. But I think it's, oh, hello Paul, that's fine. <laughs> I can cut this, I can cut this bit out. I'm learning editing now, so, ah, Paul's here. So, <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Can uh, I just say that? Yes. I know, but I, I, I'll just leave it at a certain angle. Yeah, I think just, I'm, just finish up. I think I look good from a certain angle, so. Sorry, sorry. You, yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 Great. Okay, okay so this is him. This Hi. is him. <laughs> yeah, I was nicely trying to make a video here, and then he came up and Sorry. spoiled. You know what? Doesn't matter. Maybe, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to put this stuff in. How about that? You guys want to see more That's bloopers? Right. That's what they said. They've bloopers. told me they want to see bloopers. So why not just stick it in, right? Actually, do you know what? You want to come and talk about this? Do grab a seat. Do grab a seat. No, you don't know what I'm talking about. So you don't, genuinely don't know what it is. Get grab that chair. Come over here. So we've got Paul here. Who is actually come 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 closer because you always say that I was <laughs> I was talking about a subject. This is this is not an interview, but it's turned out to be an interview. Have you been to gigs where you get some kid coming up to you Ooh. and saying, "See, already he knows it. See, that's what I'm talking about." <laughs> yeah. And they'll and not only heckle you, but they'll tell everyone at the table before how you do it. Yeah, how it's done. Oh, he's gonna do this or that. Yeah, that's how do you deal with that? That's the sort of kid you have to. Well, you know. I'm not, Children's magician. Yeah. But how do you deal with it? <coughs> how would I deal with it? I... How did I deal with it when yeah. I've done my very first kid mm -hmm. show? Yeah. 30 years ago. Oh. That was my last one as well. 30 years ago. You look, he looks so young, doesn't he? I don't know how he does it. Genetics. Shave my hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I singled out the kid. Okay. I said, hold on. Well, you made I him had feel an bad. advantage. Him or her? Him or her. Yeah. Was it a guy? A guy? Yeah, I made, it, made the kid feel bad. Right, okay. okay. And I'm talking the days before YouTube. Okay. okay. So there was no YouTube for them to go, I know how that's done. Oh. Bloody did know how it was done. Right, okay. And what he basically gestured mm -hmm. to the whole 
everyone that was there. Yeah. Was he went, oh, you do this, put it in like a, this jumper thing with a po big pocket. <laughs> yeah. Do this, and you come out and you've got nothing in your hands. He was sort of right. Right, okay. At that time, he was sort of right. Because the way I passed it, it went into my. Jacket. Okay, let's not give away too many methods, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just yeah, went in my jacket, yeah, yeah, you know. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't say no more, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yes, that's that's what he done. And I singled the kid out. Okay. I just so, had him. Up. See, that's not my character, but that, you know, I think maybe that kid has probably learned his lesson. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably no, it's my mate's kid. kid. He All hasn't. Right. He hasn't. Okay. No, no. He went on to go to prison, and God knows what. Okay. I oh, could yeah, talk about you said him thirty because... years ago. Yeah. 30. Yeah. Right. Wow. So yeah, I said. For me personally, I'll either teach the kids something. I know if it's a heckling kid, mm -hmm. I'll say, look, I'll teach you something. I was just uh, saying that earlier. I'll maybe get them to do a trick on the table. So get them involved with a coding trick or something mm, like that, where yeah. they go, oh, you guys are thinking of something, and he's going he's gonna to tell you what you're thinking of, something like that. Or you could, you know, I spoke to Kencho Jim earlier, and he mm. said, what we could do is you could say, I'm going to come to your table later. I'll do some magic for you. Just stay there, and you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I think, I think the bottom line is these things happen. You just got to deal with it to try and be with you in your character again don't I wouldn't recommend doing what you do just because what's that supposed to mean no what, what, what I mean is <laughs> you don't want to be as in did you like shout at him or something oh no no I felt like it Right. Even though it was my son's kid, no, right. I didn't. Because I spoke to Franco, and Franco was like, "I'll give him one cappuccino," and you know how Franco is, right? <laughs> you can yeah. imagine that over right the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so uh, it's like you're asking a comedian, "How do you do a heckless?" Every comedian's yeah. different. They'll deal with the heckler the way they their characters, and I think that's the same thing with magic. When it comes down to it, and I think the more experience you have of performing sure. out there, the more experience you're going to be able to deal with these things. Yes, agreed. Now the so, kids just walk all over me. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not. Look, I'm not the best kids. Well, I, I think I really should ask a kids entertainer about this. But I'll tell you what. Maybe at some point I hmm. will interview someone. I did interview Paul Magram, so go and watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, he's a great. Uh, he's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So he's, you know, he, I'm sure I he's took, got gold I advice for took you. But the wife's kids. Okay. To see him. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Nephew, wow. niece and nephew last Christmas. Oh She's nice. Gone. Yeah, oh, he, had them, he had him up on the stage. Absolutely brilliant and sign up. Knows yeah. how to handle everything. He, yeah, so really he's does got, It's just that because he's done it so much. He yeah. has just worked his kids' parties. It's, it's like being but, a red coat. But what, you it's know what? Building. Actually, Paul said that in his in his interview that he does close-up magic. That's his yes. thing. And, he, yeah. you know, kids is one of the aspects. He does adults so it's, Yeah, he well. does. Yeah. And I didn't know. I always thought of him as a kids entertainer. But anyway, enough of Paul Magrum. I know you're watching this video, so yeah. Enough, <laughs> enough of your Hi, stuff. Paul. Let's uh, <laughs> Let's go straight into... Um, what other questions do we have? Do we have another question here? I'm getting a lot of nice messages, so thank you for that. I don't want to go into read this, it just makes me feel mm. a little silly. You need to talk about how people... No, yeah, uh, personally I would. I'd read the odd, I just wouldn't say who they're from. Yeah. But I'd, you know. Well, okay, so here's a nice message that it made my day. Alk Nonmil, he's always messaging me and always commenting, so thank you for that. It's a video shout out to you. Not only I do reply to your messages, but look what he said. He said, you really have a nice style, a bit of classy classic with... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with, <laughs> with an ounce of modern touch and always dapper. It's also, true, you'd make that silt through phone effect look better than oh, most people I've seen doing it. So, um, yeah, and really I think, yeah, that just goes to show because I do it all the time. It's just yeah. in my bag. I've even got a <clears> silk. <throat> I'm not even wearing my casuals today, but I've got a silk here. Actually, let's go on a little tangent and I want to talk about always carry. You know, there's another question that I get what asked quite often is yeah. what happens is when you're out and about in town and they ask you to do some magic, what do you do? I'm sure you I have a do few it, things. But I like to have five minutes. I do like to have five minutes to prepare. To prepare. Okay. A few I see what you mean. Pieces. Right. Yeah. So so for me, like today, <clears throat> Don't like I'm it, not, but yeah. Yeah, but I'm not performing. I'm not paid to perform. I'm just here I came to the magic circle to film these videos and I've still got my silk through phone uh, props that I need. And I've got a few other items on my body. Uh, you know, I always carry elastic bands and just something in a deck of cards is always in my bag. I don't even do card tricks, but just in case you're in the situation where like, do some, oh, I, I have a deck of cards in my bag. Let me show you something. So yes, I always carry stuff on me. And even if I don't, I practice stuff at coins and you know, I can just pick up anything and do magic with. So it's not, not a big problem when it comes to performing. So yeah, that's another tip. Learn stuff with anything. So 
Yeah. Learn at least one trick. So that, that's your homework. At least one thing with an elastic band. If you don't have that, learn one trick in your arsenal. Is, um, is that coin? Is that elastic or elastic? Elastic. Band. Elastic. elastic band. Sorry about my accent. <clears throat> elastic I'll charge band. you for the tuition. Later. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> learn something with coins. Learn something with yes, a ring. Learn everything. something with the deck of cards. Learn something with a phone. Something with anything with a wine glass. And try and do magic tricks with. Not do, but at least every learn day. something with an everyday object that you would mm. see. Because when you're about, you know straight away, mm. I can do that. So yeah. yeah, that's it. At least learn one thing. Or secondary, get an app, magic app on your phone. You could do that. That's yeah. another thing yeah. you could do. Because you always have, have your phone on you. You always have right. your keys on you. Just things that you always carry with you. Why not you know, use that in your magic? There we go. I think that answers enough of questions mm. for this one. So we're going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this. There's a lot of comedy in this video, I know, because there was a lot of unscripted stuff. But if you want to see more like this, it's yes. funnier when it's unscripted. It is. It is. None of this is scripted, by the way. None of this is scripted. I was going to say, none yeah. of this, yeah, we're just chatting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, cool. So how long have I known you? Too long. Too long. Yeah, too just long. too yeah. long. Yeah. yeah. But un unscripted is always the best. True. It's true. Yeah. I mean, who, who would go on a YouTube channel, make a video? and have this in your video. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> that would be That great. is crazy. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it in, I don't know. <laughs> you put it in. Okay. <laughs> All I've, right. heard, I've heard it before, you okay. always put it in. I know. All right, I'll see you guys next time. I'll get back to what I was doing here. All right, see you, see bye you bye. later. <laughs>